a couple of slow starts in the halves again. You pulled away in the second. How would you characterize this victory or your team's performance tonight? Uh, I would say great win because sometimes you just need to win. And tonight was one of those nights we had. This is what I've been feeling. You know, the we had great, as you well know, great energy and confidence for a good month and change and we were on a great streak and we went to Cincinnati and feeling awfully good and then played poorly. They played great. But you know that was that 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 knocked a little wind out of us and then we don't get to play. You know, we wish we would have come right back and played. You know, that was not turns out it wasn't a perfect time to take a break. And now you're in the holiday is past. You're here by yourself, our guys with no school. All there is. This is kind of the this is kind of the dog days for a lot of college players right now. You know, there several weeks have gone by. The students are all gone. They're in their apartment, or they just kind of stare at the walls until they go. And coaches putting them through this and that. And the game is far away. And I could feel it. We didn't have great energy all week, and I'm not upset with them. It's just hard. To, you know, they're human. And uh, so we started out a little rusty and a little flat. You know, and. Uh, but I thought we played, after what, 10 minutes or nine minutes, I thought we played a great game, really. So, just needed to win this one. Um, very, very, you know, bittersweet. Uh, Isaiah's injury, possibly serious, uh, you know, in, in, the, in the big serious picture of things, which is just so incredibly sad. So we're hoping and praying that Maybe, maybe we're wrong on that, we'll see, but uh, that, that's, you know, when you're a coach, you know, you, you, you have a big family, you know, you have a lot of guys, it's a big, big family, and in a big family there's lots of ups and downs, there's a lot of guys going through stuff in their personal life, or their basketball life, or their confidence, or their playing time, or you name it, and, and you know, you carry that, and it makes, I think it's probably the hardest part to me, in coaching, but there's nothing harder than when you know someone gets an incredibly disappointing blow, and uh, you know it's just so sad. So we're we're hoping, but uh, on the other side of things, as I said, a really really good win. We did a lot of really good things. Uh, wasn't our best performance, but you know it was it was good enough to get done what we needed to get done tonight. Very happy for Zurich. Uh, you know, what a, what a game he played. Uh, he was just fantastic. He's been working his tail off in practice, out of practice. You know, he's just a competitor, and, you know, he, he hasn't, he, he wants more, and that's why he works so hard, and it paid off. And we had a lot of guys, uh, another thing I really enjoy about this team, there's a lot of guys that can pick us up. It's not just two or three guys, and if two or three guys don't have a good night, we're, we're sunk. You know, that. That's not a good recipe. That's that's not a good enough team over the course of time, usually. And uh, so far, we've just had a number of guys that, you know, when, when, when one of the guys that maybe normally play really well don't have the <clears throat> best night, we have other guys pick them up. So we're going to need that for sure moving forward. What about Tristan? What's his situation? Uh, just, you know, we're managing him every day, right? I mean, I think that's pretty well documented. and. It is a daily management of trying to put him in the best position to play as much as he can each day with the intent of playing the whole season. So that, that's the balancing act. And so sometimes it just feels better than others. Tonight was not a night that pushing it, it was going to be a, probably a smart idea because there's you can push too far and then now you've got a whole other length of time. So we're going to always err on, on the side of caution. So we didn't have him tonight. Of course, then we'll get Isaiah goes down. And, and do, now. Do you expect him this weekend? Well, it, I, yes, but, but not because I know, just because I, I'm, I'm basing that on every single day that we've had him and how it, you know, it's not like it's, he didn't get injured. He's not, we didn't have an injury that kept him out. It's, it's the, the, the maintenance can sometimes feel great and then sometimes not feeling so good, and then we got to be, you know, we've got to be careful. So, obviously, very hopeful, but not to the point that we, you know, we're only going to play him if we think it's if he's comfortable and feels good, and we think.
think it would, you know, set us back moving forward. But having said that, uh, you know, Tulane, <laughs> what a, uh, now I know why. A couple, couple nights ago, whatever, South Florida played at Tulane, so I, I turned on that game and watched a little bit. And the announcer happened to say that Ron had mentioned this was his favorite team ever. Now, Ron has coached a long time, a long time, and Ron has had some very good teams, and he's a very good coach. And for him to tell people that, it was like, woo, and now I know why. Because they won at Cincinnati, they beat Memphis at home, they went to, to Wichita and won, and they basically, you could say, should have won the East Carolina game. They had the game in hand, and then East Carolina hit a terrific shot to send it to overtime and beat them in overtime. So what I'm trying to say is Tulane is, is you know, full front making a challenge to win this league. That's how good they are. And it's a, just such a tough place to play. It's such an incredibly difficult place to play for, for everyone. So. This will be a real, real challenge for us, to say the least. If Isaiah is out for a while and you're trying to manage the minutes for Tristan, uh, with that in mind, what did you think of Jamar and Franklin tonight? I thought they did a nice job. You know, I thought they both did a nice job, and they're going to need to. <laughs> we're going to need all hands on deck. You know, what we are, and and and, you know, we've been playing those guys. We've been rotating them, and so they've all been getting minutes. Um, you know, if in fact Isaiah's out, then their minutes will increase. At times, Marcus will swing over there as well. But we need them to even get in a little bit of a different mindset that, uh, you know, kind of the next man up mentality to like, okay, now produce even more, play even, even better, even harder, feel that you're even a bigger piece of the puzzle. So I hope that they'll all do that. Zurich Phelps having a career high tonight. Uh, what did you think of his game? And that's got to give him more confidence going into great. the Great. He just played great. He did not look like a freshman at all. Uh, you know, he's been working hard. Uh, you know, obviously this year he hasn't been really a, uh, an accurate three-point shooter. He's done a lot of other good things. Uh, it's something I told him the day after he signed, how important it is, you know, in this day and age. And he's been in that gym working like crazy. His confidence. He's been he's been playing his tail off in practice. I mean, this was not something that surprised us because of his practices the last week. Um, I didn't know he played that good, though. I don't I don't mean that. But we totally felt like that's why we got him in so early. If you if you saw, we, we brought him in pretty early because he's been playing so good in practice. But not everybody takes the practice to the game, and he did. And uh, he's a confident young man. He's tough, and now he's uh, you know. He's, putting the ball in the basket. He probably leads us in deflections. You know, he gets his hands on a lot of balls. He's tough. He made some tough plays. And I don't know, I just got a lot of confidence in him. I, that, that's a big lift for us. His play is a big, big lift for us because it allows, as I was saying, you know, some other guys don't have maybe the night you're used to. Here he comes along and has a night that's, you know, I mean, that's uh, you play like that every night, and you're all league, right? That's a that's a all league type performance right there. You've talked all year about how you feel like you don't really have starters in a bench, and you've got a much deeper group. But when you look at the minutes tonight, it looks a little unusual. Jalen starts, plays a little under eight minutes. Obviously, Isaiah got hurt, um, and Vandemel played 13, and then you had three guys come off the bench with over 20 minutes each. Was that by design? Well, it's by two things. It's kind of by what we're feeling in practice. And we had a number of practices this time. You know, sometimes, like going into the Saturday's game, tomorrow's practice will be so light that no one can make a move. Like, you're not going to make a move tomorrow because we can't, we're not going to get in there and scrimmage for an hour and a half. I mean, we're not, you can't do that. And Friday's the day before a 1 o'clock game. So this week there's not going to be a movement in, that you played great in practice. Well, last week we had a lot of practices, and that's what we were doing. And so you could make a move to say, "Look, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my game on right now." And some others maybe are, are in a little bit of a, a lull. I, 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 I've just seen this for, forever. Like, it, I don't know if it's biorhythms. I remember when I was young, they talk about biorhythms. I'm not even sure I know exactly what they are, but you know that every person kind of 
on given days or weeks or whatever, you're kind of in and up or you're kind of in and down. And you, well, basketball players are 100% that way. You're just not sharp and confident and on point every day for a whole season. Everybody does this. And so as a coach, what you look for is who, who's on the upticks, who's on the downticks. And you don't want to punish them, but you also want to be cognizant. So going into this game, as I said, like Zurich was a guy like, hey, he's, he's definitely – Definitely on up to a couple other guys. Their energy level's not quite as high, not you know, not not in a bad way, but and it'll come back. I mean, they will. It, it'll come back, and it'll just it'll just keep doing this. And you hope you have enough guys that on a given night can produce and get you in the the high 70s or whatever. You know, whatever it takes to win. You mentioned a moment ago that coming back off that Cincinnati game, maybe it wasn't a great time to have that little bit of a break. Now you've got a very quick turnaround to go to New Orleans, and you don't have a full report yet, I guess, on JC. And what do you need to get a turnaround and get a sharp performance in a couple of days in New yeah, Orleans? Well, if I had a wish list, it would be the exact opposite. We would have played right after Cincinnati, and then we'd have like three or four days to prepare for Tulane, partly because Tulane plays a matchup zone, and it just, you know, we're not going to have much time to prepare. So, more than anything, what we have to do first is to get. And this won't be enough, but the first thing we have to do, or it all will mean nothing, is to get into a mindset of who Tulane really is right now. You know, not what Tulane maybe has been in the past, what, what they are right now. What they are right now is a team trying to win our league and proving it. You know, that right now they've done the most impressive things so far. I mean, in, in league play. And what's mind-boggling is if you looked at them early in the first five or six games, I mean, you couldn't even possibly see this coming, you know. And they have really bonded. I don't know, I haven't watched them hardly, just a little bit in that one game, but tonight and tomorrow I will. But obviously, looking at their scores, this is a out, this is an outstanding basketball team right now. They weren't in November but they are right now, and they are challenging to try to win this conference.